What's up guys, I'm Brent and today I'm going to show you guys how I made this shelf for my hand planes using dovetail joinery to assemble it. Check it out. Alright, so I've cut my back out and now I just barely cut all of my sides to the right width. Now I'm going to go ahead and square up one end, cut them to their final length, and then we can start cutting the dovetails on each end so we can assemble the whole thing. just laid out what sides are going to be my tails and what sides are going to be my pins. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay out the dovetails and then we're going to go ahead and cut them. I'm going to be using mostly a bandsaw to cut them out and then refining them with the chisel. Alright, so I have my two pin boards and my two tail boards and I've measured how thick they are using my calipers. Now I'm going to go ahead and scribe that measurement on all four sides. Now I'm going to do that same thing to my pin boards. The only th difference is I'm only going to do it on two faces. All right, so I've laid that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these in my vise and then use that just to help hold it still while I lay out the pins and tails. All right, so I have a pair of dividers here. And first what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the pins are going to be. All right, so I've just laid out how big my outside pins are going to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide this up. And I'm going to put three tails on this. And so I'm going to figure out about how big I want it. All right, so I've just marked out with my razor blade the sides of each of the tails. So now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer those lines onto the face. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and lay this board up on top here 
I don't have a very good way to hold this, so I have to hold this by hand. Take, I'm gonna line this up so the board's, uh, so it's flush on this end and then flush on either of the sides. And then go ahead, take my razor blade. Come in on the sides of each of these pieces. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my square and come mark down the sides of each of these. All right, so when you're doing this, you're gonna wanna have the smallest opening at the top. So I'm gonna have that flipped over like that. That way you don't cut into the pin. So I'm just gonna do very similar to what I did last time and just come in and just remove as much of the waste as possible. All right, so I've got all of my parts cut and assembled. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece that's slightly wider than the block plane here, and then cut it to just slightly longer. I believe that these two are pretty much the same size, so I'm gonna cut two identical size pieces, and then we're gonna glue those inside of it. All right, so we've got our box all made up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart real quick, uh, put glue in all the joints, clamp it together, uh, and then we can glue the back inside and glue in the shelves.
Alright, so I've got the shelf pieces for the hand planes here. I've marked out where they go. So now I'm going to take some wood glue, put that on there, and then also put a dab of super glue on each of the corners. So that way it will hold it in place long enough that I can get clamps on it while the glue dries. Alright, so I can't really get clamps on this very easily, so I'm just going to have those sitting on there. Hope that should be enough weight to hold it in place while the glue dries. I'll leave this for about uh, 30 minutes or so, and then we can come back, clean up any little glue squeeze out that there is, and then we can put a finish on it. All right, I am super happy with the way this thing came out. This is the first time I've ever done dovetails in a project. I really love the way they came out. I made this project because of a challenge that Jonathan Katz Moses was putting on on Instagram. You had to make a project using dovetails. You could make the dovetails anyway. You just couldn't use a router. Um, so this was what I did for that. I am really thankful for that because I haven't really been trying to push myself as much because I thought oh I have to have the specific types of tools to be able to do certain types of joinery and things like that and so I'm really grateful for this because it was there and it helped push me to help expand my skill set which is something I love. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button and be sure to share it with anybody else who might be interested. If you want to see some of the other stuff I'm working on, be sure to check out my Instagram and Facebook pages. I'll have links to those down in the description below. Big thanks to all of my patrons for supporting me on Patreon. If you're interested in that, be sure to check out the link in the description. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see some of my other videos, be sure to check these out right over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.